If I ask everyone here to think about one thing that you cannot live without, what would it be? Family, love, food, internet. What about the very act of breathing? I bet it didn't even cross your mind because it's second nature to us. But is this really the case for everyone? Let's take a second and close your eyes. I want you to picture yourself drowning. Try to feel the weight of water pressing down on your chest. That desperation to come up for air and the burning need for oxygen in your lungs. This is what an asthma attack feels like. Every breath becomes a battle against the invisible foe with every wheeze a cry for relief. The shocking part, despite years, for thousands of years, people have been suffering from asthma, but there is no cure for it. With the lack of advanced imaging technologies to observe the changes in asthma, it's been very difficult to find a treatment for the disease. It wasn't until the last century that scientists made a significant breakthrough. They discovered that the exaggerated immune response is what leads the airways in our lungs to become thick and narrow. With narrowing, it's harder for the air to pass through the lungs and causes difficulties in breathing. So that's great. We know what's happening. But how are we supposed to deal with this exaggerated immune response? That's where I come into play. To mimic the structure of human lungs and observe the changes in asthma, I use biomaterials such as cells and proteins to replicate the onset of asthma outside of the human body. By using the novel technology of 3D bioprinting, I can print hollow tubes just like the airways in our lungs and expose them to environments of low oxygen to replicate an asthma attack. To understand what's happening to our uh, 3D bioprinted lungs, the first thing is to visualize the changes. Thanks to our super microscope, we can capture incredibly detailed and sharp 3D images of the bioprinted lungs, which was not possible before. By comparing and tracking the bioprinted lungs from an asthmatic and healthy environment, we can finally gain an understanding of what is causing this exaggerated immune response in the lungs. Our 3D models can be used to develop methods to prevent the changes from happening in asthmatic lungs and pave the path toward discovering a cure for asthma. Thank you.